my name is Ernie Hernandez, head strength coach at California Strength. Today we're going to do part three of our posterior chain video series. In part one we did, uh, we went over unilateral movements. Part two we went over bilateral movements. And today we're going to go over uh, more of our big movements, mainly deadlifts and their different variations. And then we're going to do a quick demonstration of uh, the box squat. Right, one of the most common uh, deadlift would just be the clean grip deadlift. So Scott's going to demonstrate this right here. So hands are just outside shoulder width. He's gonna drop his butt, chest up. Keep the bar close to him. Chest stays up the whole time. So as his knees extend, chest and the bar rise, and he finishes with the hip drive. Another variation of that type of lift is a snatch grip. So you just take a wider grip. Pretty much using the same form. All right, so there's two different ways to vary up the deadlift. Another way to vary up those two movements, the clean grip deadlift and snatch grip deadlift, is to do it from a deficit. So what this does is it increases the range of motion and it increases the length of the pull. So if you notice, it's not too much of a deficit where Scott can't get in a good bottom position. So you can go as much of a deficit as you can that still allows you to get in a good start position. The last variation we're going to show you is the sumo deadlift. And this de deadlift more focuses on the posterior chain and mainly the hip drive. This is a little bit less knee bend. Alright, so he's going to get his chest up, get his back tight, and then drive the hips to lift that bar. Get his, get his hips all the way under him at the top, squeeze his butt. Notice all, notice all the motion is in the hips and not in the spine. So at the top, don't arch the back. It's just get your hips under you, squeeze your butt at the top. So another movement we often use is the box squat. And the biggest reason we use that is if someone has injuries, if they have hip issues or knee issues that prevent them from doing a full depth squat. Um, so we may, we'll do the box squat because you can still add a lot of load. Um, and it also targets a lot of the posterior chain, so it really targets that hip drive, very similar to the sumo deadlift. How you determine the height of the box uh, that you use for the box squat is you basically want the athlete to be, uh, their thighs to be just below parallel. All right, so when they sit, thighs are just below parallel with the knees. If they have you know, significant issues in the hip and the knee and they can't go that low, then you basically want to go as low as they can without pain. All right, so now, now Scott's going to demonstrate. What you want to do is get a little bit wider than normal stance. All right, he's going to sit back and find the box with his butt without letting his knees travel forward. So we're going to sit back, sit back, sit back, and then drive his hips to come up. Like I said, very similar to the sumo deadlift. All right, another couple cues to spread the floor as he comes up and not let his knees travel forward. Spread the floor, drive your hips. Good. So that wraps up our posterior chain video series. Uh, that's certainly not the only posterior chain exercises you can use, but uh, we'll give you enough to be creative and come up with some good programming to challenge your posterior chain and uh, to address weaknesses and imbalances. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you real soon. My name is Ernie Hernandez, head strength coach at California Strength. Uh, my name is Ernie Hernandez, head strength coach at California Strength. Uh, today we're going to go over. Uh, Hi, this is Ernie Hernandez, head strength coach at Cal Strength. You might know me from Posterior Chain 1 video, Posterior Chain 2 video, and. <laughs> fucking light. Beast. Hi there, I didn't see you. Uh, my name is Ernie Hernandez, head strength coach at California Strength. <laughs> I can't fucking do this.